welcome back to my channel my name is Keisha and thank you so much for clicking on this video today here you know your girl is back with another video based on the title you know exactly what I'm about to talk about so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Keisha with three E's y'all already know Snow White is the last costume of the year I had so much fun dressing up but now it's time to wrap it up, okay? So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Let's go. All right, y'all. So boom, y'all know exactly how I like to start my story times off, okay? We're going to be talking about y'all good old friend who not such a good friend thing one, okay? So let me tell y'all, this was around Halloween, but this is back in, you know, y'all know around the time I was thing one friend, okay? Back in my younger, younger, younger days, okay? Now, I do believe that this Halloween fell on like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, somewhere in the middle of the week because people were celebrating both weekends. So you had Halloween parties the weekend before and after, and then, of course, we would dress up to go to school on like the weekday that whatever day it fell on, right? So, the week before Halloween, right, everybody talking about doing stuff, it's parties everywhere, costume parties, all of that, right? Now, this is the year that I was, like, so cliche doing what everybody else was doing, dressing up either as a cat or a bunny, like, that's what everybody was doing, or a police officer, like, those were the main costumes, right? So, I was a cat, preferably a cheetah, because y'all know I love cheetah. I, I love cheetah print, leopard print, I love that, but I went as, like, a cheetah, okay, so, um, really it was just like a cat outfit and then I did like cheetah print, like eyeshadow, you know, on my eyes with like brown and then I took the liner and did like black little, um, like the leopard cheetah prints or whatever. So I dressed up as like a little cheetah or whatever and for whatever reason, my neighbor's dog started barking all of a sudden. So if y'all hear him, it's not Dash, it's the neighbor dog. It's nothing I can do about it and I'm not waiting to record later because I'm already ready, right? Anyways. So we all dressed up, um, thing one is dressed up as a, a cat or whatever. I'm a cat too, just with a little cheetah mixed in. This is around the time that thing two was still around, right? So, you know, it's me, thing one, and thing two. We at thing one house. So we was trying to figure out what party we was going to go to because we knew our homeboy Trey, and I can say his real name because he don't matter. We knew our homeboy Trey was throwing a party. He had like a little Halloween party. Mind you, this is on Friday. So like we just got out of school. Everybody was acting. Everybody like, what party you going to go to? Which one you at? Because Trey was having a party and our other homeboy Brian was having a party. So it was like two people party. You know, in my head, I'm thinking like, why don't we stop by both? Because everybody lived around each other. So we was walking to both of their houses anyways. So cool. So we getting dressed. We had thing one house. So I was doing my like eyeshadow and liner and stuff at her house or whatever. So we was getting dressed. So, you know, her mom was like, y'all want to ride or whatever. But we like no because we was gonna meet some other friends from school like we was gonna walk and meet them and then we always gonna walk over there together so we're like oh no we okay like everything cool blah 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 right so around this time of course i was still friends with shauna but see shauna didn't really care for thing one and of course i knew why but you know when you're in that beginning phase of like you just feel like okay this is my friend like you know even though i know my other friend don't care for you I'm going to still be cool with you. See, I should have known my bestie, Resty, the feelings she had about thing one. I should have listened to those. But sometimes when you are younger, you do be feeling like, well, just because somebody had a problem with you, that's not my experience with you. So I'm going to still be cool with you. Of course, I knew Shauna didn't like have problems with people for no reason. But it's like me and thing one had already been friends. So it was just like what I'm supposed to do. So the thing is, Shauna didn't dislike thing one she just didn't care for her so y'all know the difference like she could be around her like if she see her she could speak to her but like if i say i'm going to thing one house she ain't trying to come with me but if i say i'm going to kendra house she'll come you get what i'm saying so it was no beef i just think like um like shauna had just been here like you know when you talk to guys or you talk to certain people you kind of hear little things about people like through the grapevine so shauna had knew a couple people and stuff that just was saying certain things about thing one and shauna just wasn't feeling it right so but me being dumb and young i was still thing one friend because i felt like she wasn't doing nothing to me personally like i knew she was doing some dumb shit but she wasn't doing nothing to me personally so i thought like oh, okay she could be cool whatever Anyway, so because I was already at thing one house, you know, I asked Shana what party she was going to. So she was like, they going to Trey party first. Mind you, I'm telling thing one and thing two, like, let's go to Trey party first. Like, I'm going to meet some, we're going to meet friends there or whatever. They like, okay, cool. 
we get dressed, we end up walking, we meet up with our other two friends that was like walking, because everybody got to walk a certain way, say Trey House is right here, so we walking, coming down this street, we see people right here walking, so we all meet, and we walk down the street, right, so we walk and talk to our friends or whatever, we get to Trey House, Trey um, party is in the basement, of course, or whatever, so we all go downstairs, he had all types of fog lights, or not fog lights, but fog, and like the blinking lights, and the strobe lights, all that other stuff, like you see everybody dancing, the vibes is good, it's hot as hell, as soon as you hit them steps coming down, it's like an instant whiff of like heat just attack you because it'd be so many people. So we go down there. We got our little costumes on. So as soon as we come in, you know, we see people we know because every we're going to know pretty much everybody from the party because everybody go to school together, right? So we come in. We see everybody. So we start dancing. They got a little something, 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 something. Y'all know the something something because we ain't supposed to have a little nothing nothing, but we got a little something something. So everybody like turning up, we having fun. So, you know, I see Shauna, of course. I'm over there. Like we all standing together. So we all dancing on each other, dancing on boys against the wall. Oh uh, good times, y'all. That's back when life was just so easy. So easy. You just downstairs in the basement on a concrete wall. You got boys pushed up against the wall, y'all. Oh, you and your friends just dancing on them. I know that might sound a little fast, but, like, those was the good times. Nowadays, we are grown. We got to worry about bills, taxes, voting, groceries, you know, kids. It, it, we got a lot of stuff to worry about. But back then, all you had to worry about was what you was going to wear to school the next day. Uh, take me back. Take me back. Anyways, but, yeah, so we all got the boys lined up on the wall. We dancing on them. Like, we having fun. Y'all, here come thing one. Y'all know I look. Well, I don't the thing went no up, but you know back then you know i loved her i knew my friend did the most but yeah. this hmm. be nice i'm finding it you know it's kind of like one of those things that like thing one was extra but that's kind of the reason why i liked her because i'm extra and growing up all of this you know, it's all acceptable now, the long nails, makeup, hair. But when I was doing this, I told this before, especially on live, when I was doing the makeup and everything, long nails back in the day, it was seen as too much, too extra, too ghetto. Because I've always liked the long nails. I always liked a lot of designs. I told y'all I always played in makeup. I always loved all of this, the crazy hair colors. So, you know, back in our day, it seemed like it was a lot. So people used to always say, I'm extra because I'm loud, I'm goofy, I'm just, I, I just was always deemed a little bit extra back then. But you know, now all this shit is acceptable, which is fine. And I ain't trying to act like I'm the first to ever do anything. No, I'm not saying that. It's just back then. Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all know me. Minimum makeup was better, but like I used to do the eyeshadow, the two color eyeshadow. Like I just, it, it was a lot. So I did like that uh, thing one was a little bit extra too because I was. Now she was a little extra in other curricular activities when it come to boys that was like blowing me a little bit. But as far as like being the life of the party, y'all know, like y'all can see from my Instagram, like I love being the life of the party. I love turning up. Um, that's why my voice always been gone. And actually might I add, if y'all been noticing, my voice haven't been going that many times. Y'all know on Instagram, I used to always go out and then when I would come back to record, I'd be like, y'all just went out so my voice is gone. My voice haven't been gone in quite a long time. So I think my voice is finally catching up to understand that this is what you have to do i don't know i think my voice is getting used to me yelling i don't know but anyways anyways y'all know i get sidetracked i would like to be the life of the party so the fact that thing one was like that too now sometimes she just wanted a little bit too much attention and that blew me but the fact that she liked to be a little extra too i like that like you know i know everybody else was like oh no she doing too much but like i didn't personally mind it but anyways i say all that because while we dancing on guys you know against the little concrete wall you know thing one decides to put both her legs on the wall and she you know she got her hands on the floor so she throwing the jc's upside down on her head okay she's turning up so she started doing that so of course people are hyping her up it's all fun but this is the thing about thing one she just got to take it too far, y'all. She just got to take it way too far and just do the most. Mind you, I told you we was dressed up as cats. Now, me and Thing uh, 2, we had on, like, black, like, little bodysuits or whatever. But Thing 1, she, I, I don't guess she didn't have no bodysuit. And it ain't like we really went to go get a costume. We just went to go get the ears. So she just had on black shorts and, like, a black shirt or whatever. A long sleeve black shirt at that. And y'all got to remember, 
I live in Michigan, so around Halloween, it's pretty much cold. It doesn't give shorts. It doesn't give like it's hot, you know. It's pretty much cold. But sometimes people are wearing just anything because, you know, you want to dress up. And if the costume you're wearing is a skirt, you just got to wear a skirt, right? But she could have put on black pants. But she had on black shorts and a long sleeve black shirt, right? So, of course, she got to unbutton her shorts, you know, pull them down a little bit. Then she get back on her hand and she's dancing. You know, she's just having a good time. But I'm just like, okay, thing one. You ain't gotta do too much. You ain't gotta say too much from the look in your eyes. Right? But it's like, as she, y'all know when you um unzip your pants and kind of like just fold the flaps down and you're dancing. She did that, y'all. But I'm looking and everybody else is looking too. Normally when you see people fold their little shorts down, you will see some underwear, black underwear, a little thong or something. We had seen Bear, uh, Bear Cooch, okay? Like, she folded down in the front, and all we see is Bear Cooch. So, I'm looking like, you know, the, the strobe lights is like flesh, and I'm looking like, is that her, um, the JJ? Wait a minute. So, I'm looking like, thing one, you ain't got no, I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on. ain't got no panties on. ain't got no panties on. That's I'm looking like, thing one, you ain't got no, you ain't got no, you ain't got no underwear on? So, she laughing, y'all. She just cracking up. And I'm just looking like, what's funny, though? Like, what's funny? So, I'm like, thing one, why would you undo your shorts? Pull them down a little bit. And you don't have no underwear on. And for the people that go commando, I'm all for that. I just never understood how y'all can do that in jeans. Like, it's one thing, okay, maybe in leggings or a skirt or a dress or whatever. But the the fact that y'all can go commando, no underwear, in jeans and have them jeans rubbing up again. Okay. So, you know, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, girl, why is you going commando with these uh black jean shorts on? But whatever. She dancing. So, you know, certain people, some of the girls, like, not even, like, my friend group, just, like, people from school, they just looking at her crazy because it's kind of like every time the light flash on you, we can see, like, the top of your, um... Kuda mama and it's just like why why do we want to see that like why did you have to unbutton just for you to twerk and you know you ain't got no underwear on so it was just like okay like you doing a lot like let's cover that up we don't want to see that so she dancing and stuff so the boy who was on the wall he kind of slide he kind of slide down and lay flat now y'all know and maybe y'all don't know but back in the day we used to do like ground working and stuff like that so he kind of lay flat so she was dancing like you know on top of him at first but he kind of like flipped her around lay her on the floor and he started ground working i know he used to do that back in the day like me so he ground working on her but my job if you ever seen somebody ground work or whatever you know how they'll start like say this is her body laying flat this is her cooch right and then they go up to her head right they'll start right here like they body will be in the air they'll start right here and like grind up you you get what i'm saying like so he started right here so when he got to her cooch mind you cooch still out unzipped and everything so he started like you know fake eating the box y'all know how the boys put their face all in there and do all that he started doing that so the crowd going crazy okay everybody in the basement going crazy because it's just like okay we could clearly see her with jj you got your head down there we kids we in high school everybody is going nuts so you know some girls is turning their head because they like uh thing mine you always doing too much da, da, da. then some people are just recording laughing or all of that like it's just a lot going on so i'm just kind of sitting there because i'm just like mm. Typical thing one, like, you know, like I said, nothing surprised me anymore with her. So, I was just sitting there looking and seeing, and seeing, and seeing, and seeing. I feel somebody kind of like, um, grab my waist from the back. <laughs> they kind of slid up on me and grabbed my waist from the back, right? So, you know, I'm like, uh-uh, who is touching up on me like this? Even though I was just dancing on somebody on the wall, but I'm like, who is this touching up on me? So, I turn around. <laughs> And it's my crush, y'all. We just gonna call him Crash. Because, you know, back then, they didn't know me. Now I'm hot. They all up on me. So, I was like, <laughs> nah. But, um, y'all know what it is when you young. Like, and I'm not talking about old senior year. Y'all know I don't really like to give a, a timeline on when I'm talking about stuff. But, like, this is in my teeny bopper years, right? So, y'all know y'all know y'all just y'all body have these feelings and i was crushing on him real hard and i told y'all before like i'm not a big crusher i don't really crush on people like i'm not i don't know like i really don't even like people i think <laughs> now i do but 
Yeah. So anyway, so he slid up and you know he got me from my way. So I turn around, I see it's my crush, and I'm just like, oh y'all, why he was smelling so good? See, back then, even now, like I told y'all before, y'all don't, y'all guys, I don't know who told y'all like cologne is not in no more. But for whatever reason, y'all don't be want to wear no cologne, and I never understood that. Like, why do you think you don't need no cologne? I mean, I can't say you need it, cause granted, like if you got out the shower, I'm not saying regular body scent is not enough, but like. Come on, just be smelling so good. But he was one of the few guys, especially in high school. You know, in high school, the boys really didn't care. He's one of the few guys in high school that actually put on cologne. So, you know, he had kind of like that grown man cologne on, so I thought. But, you know, it probably was like some X or something. You know, who knows? Some Ralph Lauren, you know, whatever cologne was out at, around that time. But he smelled so good, y'all. And I was just like, oh. God, as soon as I smelled it, I knew it was him. So I tapped around, I see him. Y'all know how it is, like, when you see your crush outside of school and stuff. So it's just, like, one of her things. <laughs> you know, he was so cute. But you know what's so funny is, um, you know, Shay Crush, you know, um, if you ever watch this. Because a lot of my people I'm still friends with, of course. And uh, you okay? Like, you ain't, you ain't been looking too hot. Like, y'all know when y'all see people... Like now at this age, and it looked like life has hit them hard. And I'm not even trying to be funny. Like I hope you okay, but like, baby, you good? Like he looked like life has chewed him up and spit him out. Like he look not like how he did back then. I'm trying to figure out how you go from looking so good to looking like how you looking now. That's kind of how I feel about Omar Epps. I'm not gonna lie, cause uh. No, no, no offense to you, Omar Epps, but love and basketball, Omar Epps. Now that's 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 a fine piece of chocolate man, but him now, you know, you still look a little good, you know. Anyways, anyways, stop getting sidetracked. But anyway, he ain't looking good, like he's looking real tasty. So you know, he got me for my ways. Like of course, the music and stuff still going, so they still watching um thing one or whatever, get groundwork done, all of that. So he kind of like pulled me back, like I'm in the crowd too, but he came put his hands around my waist. He kind of like backed me up, like away from the crowd, cause you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, he backed me up and he pulled me on the wall with him. So I'm dancing on him, being all cute and stuff, and like we dancing or whatever. So he turned around and he's just whispering sweet nothings in my ear and stuff, like, huh. Back when life was so easy. Now you got to deal with people, baby mama drama and kids and, you know what, anyways. But, so, yeah, we over there talking. So, we just having a good time. Like, we flirting. Like, he kissed me all on my cheek and stuff. He just being, you know, he just being real cute, see, okay? So, we talking. So, it's like, after a while, I was sitting back, like, you know, kicking it with him. Like, we dancing. We talking. We doing all that other stuff, right? Flirting. Just being real cute. So, I guess after a while, thing one end up getting up or whatever. Because I wasn't paying attention to her no more. She ended up getting up. So, she eventually come find me. Because it is dark down there. But the lights is flashing. So, you can see a little bit. After a while, thing one come find me. And she like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Is you ready? Uh, girl, no. I'm over here chilling with my boo thing. No, I ain't ready to go. So, you know, I'm like, uh, not really. I'm like, you ready to go already? And she's like, yeah, let's go to the other party. And I'm just like yeah see i really don't want to go to the other party right like i just didn't really want to go she's like no come on a couple of us is leaving we about to go to brian party it's only around the corner so i'm like well i don't really care to go to brian party because i'm not gonna lie my little boo thing is here and it's not that i'm choosing a nigga over her it's just that you know this is what you do like my friends is here well she my friend too but you know shana is here my little crush is here i really didn't care to go to brian party because it's like the majority of the people that we hung around and we talked to was at this party so i felt like the only people that would be at brian party is like the other people that we didn't really mess with at school which is not bad but like i would rather party with all of the people that i really know than to go somewhere else so i was telling her like well since you still got thing two and then the two girls that we walked over here with if y'all are going to brian party you know at least you still got somebody to go with so i was like no i kind of want to stay here or whatever like y'all can go here so you know thing one is mad she like oh that's fake like we came here together we need to leave together like why would you do that like that's crazy we said we was gonna go to both parties so i'm sitting here thinking like girl but i don't want to go no more like just go ahead and go to the other party i want to stay here with my little boo like why is you 
Like, girl, as many dudes that you had me go places with that I didn't really care for, why you can't let me just kick it with my little right now? Like, why you can't let that be a thing? So, I'm like, I don't want to go. Just go ahead, y'all. So it's literally, y'all, it literally was like two blocks around the corner. And you had people to walk with. I could see if I left you hanging by yourself. But you got people to walk with, right? So she leaves, so she's upset or whatever because I'm not going with her. But I'm thinking like, oh my God, then one like you know if your boo was here or somebody you was heavily talking to was here, you would want to stay too. I always be like, you know, that wing woman and stay with you. Like, why you can't just let me have this? Like, what's wrong? So whatever, they leave. So they leave. So the whole time thing when it's texting me like, you fake. Like that's not right. Like that's you breaking a girl code. Like, breaking the Baby, I wouldn't break the code. I respect the code. Like, we supposed to do this, this, and that. So, mind you, I don't know why, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. She had me feeling bad because I am a strong advocate of you come together, you leave together. But I was just feeling like, girl, you leaving with three other girls, you'll be fine. I don't have to come with you. But whatever. She texts me all this shit. Mind you, I'm drinking apple juice. So, like, I was a little bit in my feelings. And I don't, like, she was calling me a bad friend and stuff like that. So, I didn't really like that. So, I'm like, okay. Let me come around the corner to Brian party because you clearly just want me to come for whatever reason. So I'm like, I'm going to walk around there and then I'm going to go for a minute and I'm going to come back. So I'm telling her like, okay, fine. You want me to come so bad? Like, I'm going to come. Like, here I come. So I'm telling my little crush and Sean and I'm like, yeah, they won't want me to come around the corner. I did tell her I was going to go to Brian party with her. So I'm just going to go. So they like, okay, well, you're not about to walk by yourself. And I'm like, you know, I'm good because it's like literally around the corner. I wasn't tripping. So they like, no. And my crush is like, no, you're not about to go by yourself. So my crush and his friend and Shauna and uh, another homegirl, they come around the corner with me. So they like, well, we'll go to Brian party with you for a minute, you know. And then if we all ain't feeling it, we all can come back. So I'm like, okay, bet. Cool. So we get to walk in. Like, we laughing as we walking around the corner, having a good time or whatever. We get to Brian house. First of all, Brian Party is in the garage. Now, I know y'all might not think like, okay, nothing wrong with that. Like his garage was a little bit big, but the garage was open. He did have a fire pit, a little, you know, a little thing, but it's cold. Like I said, it's in, I live in Michigan, so it's cold, 50, 60 degrees. Like it's not something that you could be like, the weather wasn't for you to be standing outside. A long periodically time. So I'm like, girl, why would you tell us to come over here and Brian Party is in the garage and it's cold as hell? Like, this don't seem lit. Everybody freezes. It wasn't even a lot of people there because uh, that's probably why Trade Party was so packed out because it was in the inside where it was warm, even though it was a little too hot. But I would rather be hot in the inside than be freezing outside because, you know, if you had a party and you freeze it, you're not going to want to dance. You're not going to want to drink. You're not going to want to do much because you're cold. So I'm thinking, like, thing one. You knew Brian Party was in a garage, and you over here cold, too. You got on shorts. Why would you tell us to come? Why would you want us to stay over here? So, mind you, I'm like, yeah. Like, we get that. We say hi to Brian and stuff like that. We do know a couple people here. So, like, we say hi to them and all of that or whatever. And it was like, Brian was on a uh, football team. So, I be, I felt like a lot of the football players feel like they needed to stay. Because, it's, th it's you know, it's a team player party. But them motherfuckers was cold, too. You would tell that they looking like, can we all go to Trey House? Because they is shivering. They cold. He got blankets and stuff out here. People by the fire pit putting their hands right there. Because it's just cold. So, I just felt like, oh. Okay, they had a couple people here because a lot of the girls gonna follow wherever the football players go. But it's like y'all out here freezing y'all ass off because y'all want to stay by the football players. I ain't doing that, right? So anyway, so mind you, did not tell. Well, I don't know. It could have been on the show. I don't know. But anyways, they one was talking to somebody that was on the football team, and by talking, I mean she was giving them heads. <laughs> It's really not a like, no, but that's all she was doing. But y'all know how thing one giving up, okay? So she don't care. Like, she just was doing that to him. They didn't even have no serious, like, relationship. He barely even talked to thing one outside of school. Like, I feel like he called to get that. Get that bread, get that head, then leave. Peace out. So like, he can get no bread from her. Well, sometimes, I don't know, because she'll bring him food and shit. But anyways, anyways, anyways. So she want to go to Brian's house, of course, because she want to see her little boo or whatever you want to call him. Which I understand because, like I said, I want to stay there to see my crush. So I'm thinking like, okay, I go there. So I'm talking to her like, yeah, thing one. I think we're going to leave because, like, we really stayed for a good 20 minutes. And that might not sound long, but when you freezing outside, that's a long ass time to be standing in the cold in a garage. It's barely anything going on. Everybody's standing around because they so cold. So I was telling her, like, yeah, we probably going to head back to Trey Party because it's cold as hell out here. So she like, why you can't stay with me? Like, you know, you just want to go follow after that nigga. And I'm like, oh. 
Well, I do, but so I'm like, well, first of all, you just want to stay here because of a nigga. So don't tell me I'm going to go follow at the nigga. Yeah, I do want to be with my crush. But sometimes what be wrong with that? Like, I understand that there are some girls that are super boy crazy and want to follow niggas everywhere. But also, it's just some girls that like their dude and want to be around them. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm like, girl, you're not going to make me feel bad because I want to be around my crush. And ain't like he dogging me out and I'm trying to follow him. And ain't like I'm leaving all my homegirls to be with him. No. Like, it is okay to like somebody and want to be around that boy. You're not going to make me feel bad. I'm like, well, first of all, yeah, I do want to be around my crush because I like him. And, you know, in school, you don't get to be all cuddled up and buddy-buddied up and all of that. And like I said, this was back in my younger years. So, he couldn't come to my house, okay? So, yeah, I want to go and I want to go over there and be with my boo. That's one, too. If y'all don't know, your girl is always cold. I am anemic. So, I don't fuck with the cold at all. That's why I hibernate during the winter. That's why the vlogs might slow up a little bit because... I don't go nowhere during the winter time because it's fucking cold. Unless it's somebody's birthday or it's an event or something, I be in the house. I don't do the cold at all. I don't play that shit. So I'm like, well, first of all, I want to go be with my boo. Second of all, it's cold as hell over here. Third of all, y'all not even doing nothing over here because everybody's so cold that the party is dead. Like, I'm like, at least y'all need to move around to build up some heat or something. Nobody's doing anything. And I'm like, fourth of all, you just want to stay here because of your boo. But that's fine if you do want to stay here because of your boo because you have things too and you got the other two homegirls because one of the two homegirls one of them talked to a boy on the football team too so you have people here you don't need me so you know she's mad and she's trying to make a big deal about me leaving y'all so you know i'm just like whatever i said what thing you want i'm like you know i we about to leave and go to uh trey house either you coming or you staying so she's like well i'm gonna stay like yeah you just continue to be fake like go with your real friends like talking about shana and them and i'm thinking like girl yeah they are my real friends but i thought you was my real friend too like don't give that don't try to act like oh i'm acting different because i'm with my best friend and stuff no who the fuck want to stay out here in the cold i'm not understanding even at one point half the football team they was going in the house and sitting in the house. They kept coming in and out the side door. And, of course, all of us couldn't go in the house. But they would go in the house and sit in the kitchen for a minute, probably to warm up and come back out. Like, why would I stand outside and freeze? And why would he have a party if he couldn't have it in his basement? Why would you have it in a garage and it's cold? This ain't the summertime. Like, come on now. So I'm like, girl, whatever. Like, you do whatever you want because you're not going to make me feel bad for not wanting to freeze my ass off so you can stay with this football player. Who you see outside of school? Like, that's where she, that's how she able to give the brain. Like, she see him outside of school. I don't get to see my crush. So I'm going to go with him. So anyway, so I'm like, bye, girl. So she's mad. She feeling some type of way. So I'm like, okay, well, what you want me to do? Anyways, I leave. We walk back um to Trey House, right? We go to Trey House, so we go back in the basement or whatever. We get to turn it out. Mind you, my little crush is holding me because <laughs> I'm cold. Like, I'm literally freezing. Even though when we came in, it's warm. You know, it'll take you a little minute to adjust. So I'm cold, so he's holding me, so he's rubbing me and stuff like that. Like, we standing at the party. We finished turning up. We having a good time. Now, Shauna had to babysit this night, so she had to leave the party a little early. But the homegirl she came with, which is my friends as well, I just don't feel like getting our names, they end up staying. So I kind of stayed there with them, and then my crush drove. So I just told my crush, she's going to have to take me home later on because, like, I didn't mind him knowing where I live because, you know, you know, like I say, other guys that I don't know, of course, I don't want them to know where I live at. But it's different, like, from the people you go to school with because we all knew where everybody lived because we always like, walking distance from the school. We all would come over each other's house. I told you I had the pool, so people would come over and get in the pool. So I didn't mind him knowing where I live. So anyways... He was going to drive me on home, okay? So, I didn't mind staying. So, mind you, I'm there with the homegirls and stuff. And, like, everybody else from school, like, like I said, we know everybody down here. So, we all kicking out. I'm having a good time with my crush or whatever. We talking. Next thing you know, I get a phone call from Thing 2. So, Thing 2 is like, oh, my God, Kay, where are you? Like, you need to hurry up and get to us. Like, Thing 1 about to fight. Like, it's a bunch of girls, da 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 all of this. Like, she just screaming, y'all. And she hangs up. So I'm like, what the fuck? Mind you, she's talking about, I just need to get to her. I'm thinking, like, get to her. Where's y'all at? Like, she never said she was still at the other party, but I have to assume. So I'm calling back, calling back. Thing two not answering. So I'm calling thing one. Thing one not answering. So I'm texting thing two, and I'm like, what is going on? Like, where's y'all even at? Like, you know, like, y'all playing? Like, where y'all at? 
So, um, she wasn't standing at the back. So, I text back and I was like, well, I'm not coming nowhere because I don't know where y'all at. So, like, what is going on? As soon as I sent that, she texted back and she was like, we at the corner of Bryan Street. So, I'm like, what the heck? Like, how y'all at the corner of Bryan Street? Like, what's going on? Like, I'm not understanding or whatever. So, I'm like, okay, here I come. So, mind you, I tell my crush to stay here and I grab the two homegirls. I'm like, come with me real quick somewhere. Like, I think something going on with thing one. So, you know, they looking at me like, um, if thing one is getting to it, we not going to help. <laughs> you know, they don't care for her. So they like, if she about to fight, like, we're not going to help her. So, you know, and I'm like, well, you don't got to help, but just come with me so I can see what's going on. And they like, okay, but we let you know, we're not about to fight. And I'm just like, okay, like, I got to respect that because if they don't want to fight for somebody who they not even friends with, I can't be mad at that. So I just said, just come with me because I didn't know what was going on. Right. And I didn't want my crush to come because you thought you about to fight. I don't know what kind of girls was there. And what if I get jumped or get beat up? I don't need my crush to see me lose a fight. You know, so I told my crush, she needs to stay his ass here. I know most of y'all be like, like, no, he probably was going to get them off you. I wasn't thinking like that back then at my young age. I just knew that if I had to lose a fight, my crush wasn't going to be there to witness it, okay? So, I'll take the other two homegirls. We get to walk in. So, I'm at the corner of Bryan um, Street. So, I'm looking like I don't even see nobody. So, I'm thinking like I hope they ain't talking about the other corner. So, all I see is like a car. But like I'm not paying attention to the car because I'm thinking like where's that, Where's everybody yet? Like what the fuck going on or whatever. So, I'm walking and I'm like I'm walking past the car because I'm about to go down to the other corner of his block. Because I'm like okay maybe she at the other end. So, we walk in and I hear a thing too like K hey, y'all over here. And I'm looking, I'm like, it's coming from the truck that we just walked past. So I turn around and I'm looking in the truck and I'm like, thing one, I'm like, what are y'all doing? I said, why did you call me and say you was about to fight? So thing one in the back smoking with some boys. Like she's smoking in the back of the car. She like, nah, uh, uh, well we was, but they left. They gone now. <laughs> None of that. They was never here, bitch. Because mind you, like I said, we two blocks around the corner. They didn't leave that quick if they was about to fight you. And you over here chilling and sit, just relaxing. So, I'm like, mind you, I'm peeping in the car. I see it's three dudes. And then this thing one and this thing two. Mind you, I told you they walked over here with them two homegirls. But they didn't necessarily come with the other two homegirls whatever. So, it was them. So, I'm just looking. I'm like, girl, what the fuck? Like, I said, ain't nobody leave. You telling me they was about to fight you that quick. And then they left. And so, she's smoking and laughing like... Yeah, no, girl, they is gone like that. He want no smoke. Like, it's all good. I'm over that. But come with us. When I called you, I told you to come by yourself. Thing two, you ain't tired to come by herself. Like, why you bring other people? I said, because you told me, or thing two told me, you was getting into a fight with some girls. So, that's why I brought other people. Like, what you got going on? So, she like, would tell them they could just walk back to the party. Like, you get in the car with us. Mind you, it's random niggas who she in the car with. It ain't no guys from the school or people we know. It's random people. So I said, thing one, did you just call me back over here because you want me to ride with you with some niggas? So you try to come up with a, a lie or an excuse to get me over here quickly so I can come with y'all? So she like, no, girl, no, why the fuck would I? It really was some girls. Like, they was walking from that way and they tried to bump me or something. They tried to start some shit with me. Like, girl, I wouldn't even do that. So I'm sitting here looking at my other homegirls like, flabbergasted, mad as hell. Because I'm like, thing one, you on some bullshit. You always on some bullshit. I'm like, girl, I'm not coming nowhere with you. So the boys is getting mad. I guess they feel like I'm the little party pooper and I'm doing too much. So the boy in the front like, well, whatever. Like, why the fuck did you tell us to come over here? You said like y'all was down the hay. Like, what the fuck is going on, thing one? Like, you playing. So I'm looking like, so I'm trying to ignore him. I said, oh, you told them like I was going to go with y'all? Like, that's what it is. You try to have like a little three-man going. So thing two is like, okay, just come with us. Like, we just about to hang for a little bit. Then we going to go home. Thing two, shut up. Literally shut the fuck up. Because you the bitch that called me and act like it was something. Thing two, normally when thing one be in some shit, thing two just shut up. Like, she normally just be there. I don't normally have no real issues or nothing with thing two. Because she just be following and she just kind of be quiet. But you the one that called me and told me to come over here. Now you tell me I just come with y'all? Shut the hell up, bitch. So I'm like, thing two. Like, I had to tell her, like, literally shut up. Don't talk to me. So the boy in the front, like, oh, yeah, she a little too feisty. Like, when we really got time for all that energy tonight? Like, you said y'all was trying to come and have a good time and uh, -uh it ain't look like she trying to have fun with us so i'm like it ain't and ain't, I ain't trying to have fun with y'all. So the boy look back at thing one like, well, what the fuck is we doing? Like, is we just taking y'all to then? First of all, you know. <laughs> Ooh. So, 
So thing one is like, okay, no, for real, just come with us. Like, we just going for a minute. So the boy's like, I don't know. Like, she negative. I don't know if I really want her to come no more. I'm like, boy, I don't give a fuck. What you want me to do? I ain't coming no way. So he tapped the driver like, bro, just pull off. Come on, bro. Like, just pull off. And the driver does just that. He pulls off and try to, like, skirt off. Do you think I care? Do you... <sighs> Boy, I don't care. So I'm looking at my homegirls and, you know, they talking shit about thing one. I'm going to lie. They like, see, this why we don't fuck with her. We be telling you, like, you should be her friend. She weird as hell. That's why we don't mess with her. Da, da, da. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, thing one, are you fucking stupid? I mean, I, I did know you was a little slow, but this is ridiculous. Like, why would you fake like you about to fight some girls just to get me to come over here to go with these boys? I don't want to go with these random ass boys. I'm trying to lay up with my crush. Well, not lay up because we at a party. I'm trying to stand up against the wall with my crush and you over here playing games as you normally do i don't know why i keep letting your dumb ass slide but that's just what i was doing but anyways i'm like let them bitches go i'm not tripping about them we walk back to trade party and why my crush gone he didn't left y'all so i text him like where you go he like oh when you left i thought you wasn't gonna come back so i left because i only really came for you and i'm like can you come back? Like, come back. He like, nah, I can't. Because he, was, he wasn't going to take me home. But the people he came with was driving. He wasn't necessarily driving. So he like, no, nah, we already gone. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, they ain't going to turn around and all of that. So I'm just like, you didn't make me leave. Which made my boo leave. And now I'm sitting at this party. I had to call my sister to come pick me up. Because it's like, the party was dying down anyways. But it's like, my boo ain't here. The homegirls is about to go ahead and walk back. And I just called my sister to come get me. Because I'm just like, you know what? You know what? I need a smoke and a beer. <laughs> Thing one, you always been skating on the nice with me. And I don't know why I was so damn nice to keep allowing you to come back in my life. But you're really starting to piss me off. And that night, she pissed me the fuck off. Like, girl, I don't want to come link with you and your random niggas. And I got my whole boo at the party. I'm trying to kick it at the party with my friends and my crush. And you gonna pull up, act like you mad at me. Like, I ain't being a bad friend. Girl, you are. You too busy trying to be underneath the football player and it's freezing. Now you want to ride with these random people who might I add looks very older. And don't get me wrong, I know I did used to talk to older guys, but they look old as hell. They look old as hell. Not old, like, okay, in their 30s and stuff. But when you young... If you like a freshman, sophomore, whatever, in high school, and you see like a 24-year-old or a 25-year-old, that's old as hell to you back then. Like, of course, it's not old now. Like, you know, if you're 24 now, but that's old. And they looked, what, how young we looked, they looked so old. So I'm just thinking like, girl, I'm not about to go off with them. Like, you doing too much. Now, back in that, when I was younger, the oldest was like the 17 and 18-year-olds. And I'm not even saying that's right, but I'm just saying that's the older. I wasn't going off into the 21s and 22, and I'm, in, I'm a freshman. You know, anyway. But yeah, y'all, so she left, and she called herself being mad at me because I didn't want to go after she lied to me. What's wrong with you? I'm not understanding thing one. But yes, y'all, that is the end of my story time. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure you thumbs up this video and comment down below. And make sure you are subscribed. But y'all already know. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.